Hey, good morning, guys. It's Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. Uh, we live about 40 minutes from uh, downtown Savannah. So I thought what I would do is start coming down here and just taking you through different sections of the city, uh, starting with the historical district and just kind of letting you see what it looks like here. And uh, I'm going to start with the river walk. The river walk goes obviously right along the Savannah River, which you can see right here behind me. And what's cool about it is you still have a lot, not right here, but you still have a lot of uh, architecture from the pre Civil War period here in Georgia, which you can't find in a lot of places. So I'm kind of at the uh, end of it here now if you're not familiar with savannah it's a huge port and uh there's always stuff being worked on there's always work being done this is a working port and uh there's just so much to see here it is crazy very popular tourist destination crabber up the river Now, um, I parked at the Whitaker Street parking garage, and uh, as you come down here, there's still a lot of the old cobblestone. This is a uh, color club, Port of Savannah. But as you, uh, as you come down to get down here because it's below street level uh, you have to be careful there's a lot of cobblestones stuff like that and as you walk along you'll just run across all kind of little historical tidbits and cool buildings there's not much parking so i mean you could find parking you'll have to pay but as far as parking down here you have to get here pretty early it's about 11 o'clock out here right now it's wednesday so it's not too crowded not like on the weekend you can see some river house there's a lot of restaurants, a lot of seafood places, tons of them, taverns, and such. Here's a United States Merchant Marine Memorial, World War II Memorial. Of course, there's a tremendous military history here in Savannah. Fort Stewart is nearby. Uh, Hunter Air Force Base. So you get a lot of World War II other military history. This is a very nice monument. Look at all the memory. Here's an example of how you would get down here. You can see those stairs over there. Those are very hazardous. You can see a lot of this old brick and cobblestone. And then you see those people up there. He just looked at these stairs and he just said, I'm not going down those stairs. He's walking off. But that's part of coming down here. There are some places that are more safe than others. And there's the convention center across the river. And I believe they have free trolleys where you can go over there. And uh, here's the Georgia Queen. You can get on this. Take a ride. I don't know what it cost, but I'm sure it's not free. Now, once you get past this area that I just walked through, you get more toward the center section. You start getting into a lot more shops. They got beautiful crepe myrtles and stuff down here. There's a picture of the, uh, I'm guessing that's the city hall. I don't know. I'm not from here, yeah. 
that it says City Hall right there on that sign. I'm not from here. But, uh, it's beautiful. I'm learning just like you guys are. There's a monument to, uh, Black American families, I believe. Pretty. Here we're getting into some cafes. Typical tourist kind of stuff. City Hall Landing is why I am now. What's kind of funny about this is you have all these old cobblestones and stuff like that down here, but it is still a street. People still drive on it, they get deliveries. Down here to their cafes and shops and stuff. And this is where you get into the older architecture right here. So, I believe during certain times, like at night, and obviously during holidays and stuff like that, they would shut this down. Because it's quite a uh, lively nightlife here in Savannah. And it would be very dangerous for the Budweiser of truck to be driving down this street. There's been plenty of people f busted right here. Oh, it's cold. Uh, places have, um, you know, like verandas, whatever you can sit out here. Look at the river while you eat. I make it a practice never to eat outside. <laughs> I mean, the weather would really have to be perfect. For me to go outside, you can see a lot of people in there eating cubbies. Seafood appears, appears to be pretty popular. That's the first place I've gone by. It has a lot of patrons. I just love going in these old buildings. I just think they're cool. What's so crazy? They built these things, man. They last forever. Here's another monument to people that have lost their lives at sea. You can see some uh, paintings over there. If this was the weekend, you'd see a whole lot more people selling stuff. It's a pretty building. Different than the others. Christmas shop. Gallery. Savannah's Candy Kitchen. It's a popular building. A lot of people coming and going. Apparently, this Candy Kitchen is pretty big. There's two different entrances right here. Let's go in there. Now the section in places like that I'll probably have to cut out the sound because uh, they're playing music in there and it'll be a trademark violation against my channel. Look at this pretty magnolias. Old. But anyway I'll have to cut off the sound during those so you guys know. Old Town Trolley Tours is what May works for. She works for the Ghost Tour section anytime you go into a town like this it's always a good idea to take those trolley tours and stuff like that they take you straight to the places you want to see they're a little high but you're not riding around getting frustrated and trying to figure out where to go directions here are not the best in the world here comes a trolley behind me in these little places and you see why these buildings are still standing Look at these beams. It's not four by fours. <laughs> How close together. How all the support beams are and stuff. 
<laughs> you can see why these things are still standing. They've been through hurricanes and everything else. Steamships, but tourist ships. Well, it was a, maybe it was a steamship at one point. called Waving Girl Dock. It's a little bit more quiet. There's not any shops right here. It's a monument to the, the Liberty. Some revolution monument. This is, like I said, Waving Girl Dock. You can see there's getting toward the end. Section. This is a sign talking about the Savannah Harbor expansion project. Hmm. It looks like they're going to widen and deepen the uh, port here where you can get bigger ships in and out. The Savannah Waiting Girl. tell you it's uh, middle of July you come to Savannah Georgia it's hot so make sure that you got water make sure you got something some kind of sun screen sun covering or you will not be happy and if you don't like it hot you're probably not gonna be happy anyway so keep that in mind. You may want to come down here in the morning or the evening. So if you want to beat the crowds, I recommend this uh, more southern or eastern, I guess it's more eastern section of the river walk. It's not that far. You can walk the whole thing pretty easily. If you're in relatively good condition. They got these little plaques as you walk along down through here about the history, stuff like that. These new okay, I'm gonna stop my walking tour right there. It looks like right down in there is where it ends, as far as the riverfront section for you to walk on. 
A lot of cool stuff to see down here on the lower river walk. What I'm going to try to do is uh, take you guys just around Savannah, the historical district to start off. Maybe do a street at a time. Something like that. A lot of you guys will never get to come to Savannah. So you can see, see it for yourself. Here's a local gallery. There's a lot of artists down here. You can get prints or originals. All of the stores like this throughout downtown. These are cool. Well, next time I go somewhere, next time I go somewhere, I'll just pay you guys to come and take care of my cats. There you go. Oh, okay. General dogs and conquistador dogs. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. Great. And there are scenes like that here in this city. You can see that. The very scene of herself. She's going to come down here. There's a lot of pretty, pretty yard in here. Beautiful. And I started about up there where that bridge is. So I've walked that distance. And you can see the convention center. I was on the other side of the convention center there when I started. So. I'm kind of sweaty, but I, you know, I might get something to eat while I'm down here. I mean, I'm here. So. Let's try it. Thanks guys for watching. Nichols Retirement Empire. See you later.